so happy to be here. Can't wait to get out onto the beach. We are heading right out there. We are going right out through those dunes, out into the beach. It is so nice out and we are going chilling. So you can see that is where we just came from, but we are heading through the dunes and you can see the ocean right over the top of the dunes right there. And that's the beach we're heading to today. Oh my goodness, you guys, heck yeah. I am so excited to be here today with you. Look at that blue sky, look at the blue ocean. We got a few people down here on the beach, but it is gonna be a great shelling day. You can see there are some shells and some debris laying in the upper rock line here, but we're gonna head down towards the water first and see if anything new is washing up. And then we're gonna probably walk the water all the way down to the left in that direction and then walk the upper rock line back towards the car. So we are down by the lower portion of the beach and you can see there's already broken pieces of sand dollar washing up. When you see these, you know it's only a matter of time before you stumble on some whole ones. So let's go see if we can find some of those. Beach is kind of rough today, so we have a lot of this wobbly sea foam that is washing up. That's really fun. It's all along the coastline. But when the ocean's rough like this, you can see it all. Kind of builds up along the coast. But it's like all this sea foam that kind of just washes up from the ocean being so rough. A lot of blue mussels with that really gorgeous shimmery nacre on the inside. A lot of blue mussels washing up today. But I like to grab those and flip those over and look at the insides of them because they're so shimmery and beautiful. We'll leave that here. Got a lot of quahogs laying on the beach today. You can see all of the seagull tracks around it. So this was someone's lunch for today. But you can see that's what the inside of a quahog shell looks like. And you can see that little hinge in the back where it fits perfectly into each other when it closes. So you can see there's two adductor scars in there, one on each side. And that's what they use to open and close their shell, those adductor muscles. So these close really, really tightly, um, but not tight enough to survive today because it was the meal of a seagull. But we will leave this here. So I'm heading to the upper portion of the beach and you can see how windy it's been. You can see how those dunes up there are windscaped with that wind like rushing through the dunes there. But there's a lot of purple sand up here. There's a lot of debris like lobster traps and lobster trap buoys that washed up from the storms. So we are gonna check these out and see what we can find. A lot of times some fun, interesting things get caught up in these traps and the debris that washes up from the storms. Also, a lot of people have asked what happens with this stuff that washes up and not to worry, there are teams and volunteers that scour the beaches after storms and they actually pick up the lobster traps and the buoys and everything and they bring it to a centralized location where the lobster men can pick it up. Every piece of lobster material, like in the supplies, has a number and a marking of who the lobsterman is. Let's see. So this one is right here. There's a number right there. So every piece of equipment, and I'll show you the traps, has an identification number for the lobsterman. So right here on these buoys, there is a name right there and a number, 0017 Werner. So rest assured, all of this stuff gets cleaned up after storms and dropped off to a central location where the lobster bag can come and reclaim it. 
So this is generally how the lobster traps are marked with a number here that's kind of like secured to the trap. But if you're not part of one of those volunteer teams, it is illegal to remove any buoys or traps from the beach. And you could do jail time or pay like a hefty fine of like $500. So that is just something really important to know while you're beaching. And check out these dunes in front of us. I wish I can give you some scale on this, but these are way above my head. And like, check out the sun. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in February. I am so happy to be here with you today. I'm really loving this downtime. So thank you for hanging out with me. Another thing that I really love with all of this beach erosion that I'm seeing here is like a lot of stuff from back in the day kind of gets exposed. Like, this is a jar from something. I don't know what it is, but I can guarantee you that it is pretty old. But I'm gonna pop this in my bag. We'll get the rusty lid off of it later and I will see what it is. But I like that because like all of these layers are coming, are becoming exposed and revealing stuff from the past. Nice little moon shells. Ooh. This one's still alive, has that operculum in there. You can see that amber operculum. Oops. Sorry. Still alive, so we're going to go put you back in the ocean before a seagull gets you. And we will leave you right here. Woo! Haha, <laughs> good thing I have waterproof boots on today. Check me out. But we will leave you here so the tide can come pick you up. Ooh, cute little chestnut astarte. Look at that shell. Really cute. It's a good find. Another pretty quahog here. I like the way that the water sets up in here with a little bit of sand. Really natural like that. Another cute little quahog shell. Oh, this is a wedge clam here. With a little drill hole from a radula from another mollusk. Another predatory snail. But cute little wedge clam. Loving our finds today. You guys, what is this down here? This looks like a mega. Check this out. Or it looks like a piece of a mega. This would have been massive. Busted up stuff from the rough ocean. But this is a busted up northern moon. A lot of things to find on the beach today. Look at the size of this massive Atlantic surf clam. Check this out. This is hinged. It still has part of the adductor muscle stuck on it there. Because I guarantee you a seagull was making a feast out of this. But this is a good size shell. That is an Atlantic surf clam. And that is massive. Or as my friend Amanda says, mahoosive. That is a mahoosive shell. Okay, so this isn't something we find a lot of here, but this is a freshwater clam shell. So this is an alewife mussel shell. And the reason why we find them here on Plum Island is because the water right here from the mouth of the Merrimack River runs into the Atlantic Ocean. It is brackish water, so it's a mixture of fresh water and salt water. So this is a freshwater mussel shell. It is really pretty, and I've never found one hinged before like this, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna pop this in our bag and add this to our collection. So this is an exciting find for me today. Let's see what else we can find. Another massive Atlantic surf clam. Look at this. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see 
how big this is. Look at the size of this shell. This is huge. Big shell. Good thing I have waterproof boots on. Ooh, they're not that waterproof, apparently. <laughs> I have yet to be able to stay dry at the beach. Such a gorgeous, beautiful day. Heck yeah, I'm excited to be here. Patty, it's so good to see you. What did you find? I found 29 sand dollars. Holy cow, look at them all. It's some really pretty surf. Those are beautiful. Look at how huge they are. I know. Oh, yeah. I was just like looking at ones down the beach and like holding them up to the, my head so people and could see how big they really, are. Some of them are really dark too. Yeah. I thought that one was gorgeous. That's and look, so it looks cool. like a pink one. I know. There's like they're washing up all along the shore. This is like okay. sand in <laughs> heaven right here. I like what you did with your boots. You put yeah. plastic bags on them. Yeah. I, that way I don't care if these get wet yeah. and my feet stay dry. You're kind so, of a genius. Uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> nice for letting you. Yeah. Let me. Thanks for letting me film your loot. Anytime. <laughs> Look at how purple this blue mussel is. Holy cow, you guys. Look at that. Look at the color on that. Wowza. That is like a violet purple. You can see all the grow lines on it. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous shell. I don't normally collect these, but I'm going to put this in my bag for a collection. Because I feel like the color on it is just unbelievable. I love that. So this section here, all this stuff is like washing up. So we're gonna check it out for sand dollars, see what else we can find in this little batch that's washing up. More little crop clothes. Look at that. Look at the blue on that. Look at aqua. I love that. So, so pretty. Look at the blues in this. So, so, so pretty. Loving everything we're finding today. Shells with perfect little drill holes from other predatory snails. Look at the markings on that. So cool. Finding so many fun things at the beach today. I love the little sections with the smalls. Once we wait for the water to clear. You can find cute little Atlantic surf clams. Like this. So cute. I love them all for all their different colors and markings. Giant surf clams. Checking out all the lobster traps that have been washing up in the storms to see if they pulled up any shells. Nice little shelling pro tip there. Things get caught in them. Looks like this one is pretty clean or it has been picked clean. So we will press on. Look at all this wobbly beach foam. is when you know the ocean is rough. It's an 
an interesting find out here. It looks like a horse muscle. That's a really good size if we can get it here. Put my bag down. Let's see if we can pull this out. I don't know if we can. Ooh, got it. Look at the size of that. That is a really good size horse muscle. I will tell you right now, this does not smell pretty, so we're gonna leave this here. But very big horse muscle find today. Spending a little time in the rocks over here and finding the storm wounds that have rolled in, getting chopped in between the rocks. It's a really nice shell. Do you like the colors on that? We will keep this one, we'll pop it in our bag. Ooh, look right down there. That is a good shell score. I kind of feel like this is just like a giant dog walk. That's a nice shell. Zoom in for you. Good little shell. Nice little shell cluster down here. Got some basket whelks in here. Bunch of little basket whelks in there. Dog whelks, more dog whelks. Good stuff, good finds in here. Look at how cool this one is, you guys. Right down there. Love how they get trapped during the storms. That is a good shell. Really beautiful colors. I am loving today. Just wanted to share this with you before we take off for today. You can watch this for hours. It's gorgeous. So beautiful and sparkly. Beach glitter. Thank you so much for shelling with me today, and I will see you next time we hit the beach. Bye!